Hi, this is Professor Hildebrandt, and as promised, I am going to work a couple of quick examples from the first part of Chapter 5 on probability. We're going to look at a classical probability question and then an empirical one. <coughs> so, with a classical approach, here we have a situation, um, typically in things like card and dice games, where our outcomes are equally... Um, likely to occur. So if I roll a dice, it's equally likely to be a 2 as a 4 or a 3 or a 1, etc. So perhaps our question says, what is the probability of drawing a queen out of a deck of cards? Well, <coughs> sorry guys, if we have a full deck that contains 52 total cards, right? And in that full deck of 52 total cards, there are four queens. So those are our possible favorable outcomes um, are the four queens. So I'm going to write this here. Favorable outcomes. Um, and so using the classical approach, we take our favorable outcomes, and that's the four, and we divide that by the possible outcomes, which are, there's 52 cards total in the deck. And so we get a probability here of 0 0.0769 is the probability that when we pull a card from our deck, it will be a queen. Now let's look at the empirical approach. So empirical probability is also known as relative frequency. So I'll make sure we know that we can use these um, two kind of interchangeably. So empirical probability is known as relative frequency. And here what we're looking for um, is the probability of an event happening is going to be uh, similar to events that have occurred in the past, okay? Um, and so that's what we're basing this on. Um, and so for our question here, we have this sample of children, and there are 539 kids, and there's three possible outcomes. Their um, parents might still be married, and so for 333, their parents are still married. Their parents might be divorced. So for 182 of the children, their parents are divorced. And the last outcome is their parents might be a widow. And that is happening for 24 of these kids. So that's the information that we have. So then the question that we're going to look at is we're trying to find the probability that a randomly selected kid, so randomly selected kid has divorced parents. Okay, that's what we're trying to figure out. And so how are we going to do this? Well, again, so we're going to take the total number is the 539. So that's going to be my denominator here. And then I have the number of children with divorced parents is 182 of that 539. And so the probability that a randomly selected kid from the sample has divorced parents is 0 0.338. Um, the classical and empirical approaches to probability are the most straightforward from this chapter, and so hopefully this demonstration helps. <laughs> 